and welcome to my YouTube channel where every episode I cover a physics topic and hopefully try and explain it in a simple and understandable way. Some episodes are just going to be fun physics facts but most I'm going to try and tie in to the current school curriculum. So when that's the case I'm going to put the key stage in the episode title. Now today's episode is just a fun physics episode and it's all about how planes fly. The main thing you need to know about planes is that there are four basic aerodynamic forces that enable them to fly. And these are lift, weight, thrust, and drag. <laughs> As you can see, the thrust force is forward, drag is backwards, lift is upwards, and weight is downwards. Let's begin with thrust. Funny word, thrust. Thrust is the aerodynamic force that pushes or pulls the plane forwards and it's created by either the propellers or the jet engines. Whereas drag is the opposing force to thrust and acts as a friction. So it works in the opposite direction to thrust and resists the motion of the plane moving forwards through the air. Let me give you an example of drag that you might have experienced yourself. If you've ever ridden a bike, which, come on, you must have, you'll know that when you pedal on the bike, this causes the bike to travel forwards. And this is your thrust. You should also notice that the quicker you begin to pedal, and therefore the quicker you travel, the more air that gets blown in your face. I mean, I don't want to brag, but I've gone so fast before that the air in my face has made my eyes water and it looks like I'm crying. So this wind you feel is the air resistance, or drag, that is being created in the opposite direction to which you're cycling in. If you've ever watched cycling races on TV, or maybe you've tried this yourself if you're a daredevil, but you might have noticed that the racers normally hunch over whilst they're cycling. This is to make themselves smaller so that they can minimise the drag they create, which minimises the air resistance created against them, allowing them to travel faster. This drag effect is why planes hide away their landing gear, so like their wheels and stuff, whilst they're in the air. So because they don't need their landing gear until they land at their next destination, they retract the wheels into the plane to reduce drag effect. If they didn't and they kept the wheels down whilst they were flying, the drag effect would be so large that it would rip the landing gear off. So for flight to take place, the thrust must be greater than or equal to the drag. If the drag is larger than the thrust, then the plane would slow down. So then if the thrust is increased to be greater than the drag, the plane would speed up. Halfway there. Right, so now on to weight. Every object on Earth has a weight. It's a product of gravity and mass. Please see my gravity video for more information. Weight's opposing force is lift, which holds the aeroplane in the air. Oh my gosh. This is a cool bit. But this is accomplished through the use of the wing. So basically, as air is a physical substance, it has weight. It has molecules that are constantly moving and air pressure is created by the molecules moving around. So moving air has a force. The wing splits the airflow into two directions. Up over the wing and down along the underside of the wing. Aeroplane wings are shaped and tilted to make the air move faster over the top of the wing. When the air moves faster, the pressure of the air decreases, so the pressure on the top of the wing is less than the pressure on the bottom of the wing. Under pressure. This difference in pressure creates a force on the wing and results in an upwards push of lift. Woo. This lifts the wing up into the air and therefore, the plane. Houston, we have liftoff. So this rule that states that as the speed of the fluid increases, its pressure decreases, which in our case was the air, is known in fluid dynamics as Bernoulli's principle. But yeah, there you go. We all know how planes fly now. So thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and you want to learn about other cool physics facts, then please like and subscribe and watch all of my other videos. And if you want to learn about a specific topic, please leave a comment below and I'll try to do a video for you.